Okay, so today we're going to show you how to paint your brake calipers uh, and make them look like this. Uh, we've done one half of this car, one side. I'm going to do the other side with you today and provide a step by step. Move the, um, uh, the wheel hub cap with a flathead screwdriver. A few nuts that are very difficult to get off. And you do this in a star pattern. So drawing. Come across some nuts that just seem like they're stuck. And one good way of doing that is just taking a bar that you can put onto your tire iron, and then it gives you more torque. I can now just push that down with my hand and open it, whereas before bouncing on it wasn't enough. So that's a really quick way of getting past the bolts that you find stuck and are giving you trouble. Just to prove that it works every time. There you go. Continue in a star pattern. Over here we've got the locking wheel key required for this one. Place the key in there. Tire iron. And when you haven't got a, a mechanical, when you haven't got an electric drill to do this with, it really does help to have a curling bar or something like this. Finally, the last one. Remember, at this stage, we're just loosening them up. That's all of them. To the back as well. Popping that out, flathead screwdriver, tire iron, and my curling bar. Again, in a star pattern, all the way across these. So uh, now that we've loosened up both the uh, tires, what I'm going to do is just jack the car up. Um, and this is slightly different on different cars. Let me just see if I can open this panel. And just carefully start to jack up the car. It does help if you have axle stands. It does help if you have hydraulic lifts. Uh, I don't have any of that. So for me, it's just a straight jacking the car up. So. You can see now I've got the car jacked up uh, on bro both front and back axle on one side. I'm going to now remove the uh, bolts that we loosened up on both of the wheels and remove the wheels. So again, let's do this in a star fashion. Uh, Locking one up. One, two, three. So this one next. We're doing this in the star fashion, star shape. Last one. And once you've taken this off, your wheel should be ready to drop off. I'll take that off, lift the wheel out, and there you have it. Your calipers are ready to start working on. Before moving on to the next step, I'm just going to mask up this area. Before I do that, let me just explain what we'll do. We'll be taking a um, wire brush like this, which is about £2.50 from Halfords, and we're going to be scrubbing that caliper down after masking up the uh, brake disc and also the brake pads. Uh, last time round that I did this, um, one of these brushes became that. Um, so you scrub hard, you get the rust out, and uh, then you have a really good surface which is ready for, uh, um, for, for painting. Mm. Okay, what I'm going to do to mask this up is just cover the brake disc with a shopping bag. That's the easiest way I've found of doing this. 
Uh, I find it works really well. Just tie the bag at the back or use some masking state tape to secure it. And then that means when you're scrubbing your caliper and all the rust and dust is coming off and when you're painting you're not going to be getting any of that on your brake discs. Okay, so I'm just going to start scrubbing this down now. Um, what I have here is a kettle with some boiling hot water and uh, it's going to be covered in grease and oil and all sorts of dirt and now we start the long process of basically scrubbing and scrubbing and you just want to keep on doing this um, and pouring boiling hot water on it later on once you've cleared some of the main muck off you can start using brake and clutch cleaner to spray it down and just keep scrubbing and scrubbing one good way to know if you've done well is when you can start seeing the Audi symbol and the VW symbols coming uh, to the surface um, because all the rust is being removed. So this is really just the best way. You need to do this. Uh, this is probably the most important step of the whole painting process, is scrubbing down these canopies and getting all that rust off so you've got a nice, even uh, surface that can be painted on. And this is gonna take you a while. We're just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use boiling hot water and just start scrubbing. You wanna get these pins looking nice as well, because it's important that they're painted and looking nice. Uh, and again, you just keep scrubbing and scrubbing, get in all the nooks and crannies, do as well as you can, and this will take all the grime off first and then all of the rust. Um, I've scrubbed a lot of this off. Uh, there's some rust that's left around the back, but there's a lot more metal exposed now, a lot of it's gone, it looks a lot cleaner. I'll show you the one at the back as well quickly. And here, these two pegs always stay a bit darker, but you can see this is... Shiny, you've got the VW out and the uh, Audi badge over here is visible, um, which wasn't before. I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and now that's about ready to start masking up bits that we don't want to paint um, and then preparing that to be painted. Okay, so what you want to do is just um, once you scraped up all the rust, quickly mask up some of the bolts. This is rubber things around the back. Just mask them up so you're not covering stuff you don't want to paint. We'll quickly show you in the back. Masking up a few of the bolts and things at the back, and uh, that's it. It's breaking clutch cleaner now. It's a heavy degreasing spray. Let that settle in a bit, wipe it off, and then you're ready to start painting. Um, get this around all the nooks and crannies. Really good at pushing out grease. Uh, dry it off. Make sure your surface is real nice and clean, get in all the nooks and crannies, and then you should be ready to paint. Using is Halford's red caliper paint. In the past I've used Hammerite. Uh, I think this stuff is better. You can see my review of this paint as well. I've done another video on that. First thing you want to do is mix that up real good. Um, and then what you want to do is apply really thin coats on the caliper. Um, you, you want to do thin coats and this stuff dries really quickly between coats so what you end up being able to do is doing one coat on this and then going on to your rear caliper putting one coat on that um, and when you finish that you're able to come back to this and put another coat on this and on the other side I did four coats and it came out looking real nice bright red uh, and with each layer of paint that you put on, you end up getting more coverage and more of the imperfections get covered up. And it's better to do thin layers than thick ones because they end up causing bubbles uh, and looking uneven. So you just want to cover that in a thin coat and then go back to the rear caliper and do the same there. And then keep coming back between them and do that for about, well, four coats I would say. Uh, best to brush in the same direction. Um, and avoid getting paint on the calipers, if you, uh, sorry, on the brake pads. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. Okay, you'll have to excuse me for the fact that it's night time now. Um, I've painted over the front calipers with four coats. Uh, as you can see, I've gone over that spring. Uh, some people leave that out. I've gone over it, it's not too big a problem. Painted right around the side, masked up all the bits that we don't want to be painting. And I'll show you the rear caliper as well, quickly. Which is over here. And that's looking nice and red too now. Um, sides. 
and uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is just allow that to dry overnight it doesn't really need that long but seeing as it's late now and I've got nowhere to go I'll uh, put the wheels back on tomorrow in the morning Tonight, I've removed all of the uh, masking and we're just going to place the wheels Getting the first one in is the trickiest, but that's starting to go in now. I'm not going to tighten it all the way, just get it in there and stick in the others. Again, you want to do the star pattern. So we're not tightening them up all the way yet, while it's still up on the jack. Um, we're just going to get all the new, uh, nuts in, and when we put it back down on the ground, we'll finish tightening it up. Of course, it's the same process on the back as well. 